I would like to comment on a statement that was made by one of our brothers in the political uh, field, uh, and that is my, my brother, um, Mr. Kambwili. And I will not limit it to his statement alone. I am going to limit it to the kind of politics that we need as a country moving forward. I speak, first of all, as a political leader in this country, but I also speak as one of the um, most senior uh, Bemba political leaders in this country, uh, who probably does understand the meaning of Bemba words that my brother uh, Kambwili used. Um, the, you, as you are aware, you can speak Bemba from, you know, Chinsali, which is uh, uh, what we call Kuichinga. That's really the, the home ground for, for the Bemba uh, language. And then you can also speak the Bemba from Kasama. You can also speak the Bemba from Wapula. But having said that, I think that I've grown up in the village to understand the meaning of Bemba words. So I'll come to that. So I come as a political leader, but I also come as a senior if not the most senior active political leaders in the country from Northern Province today. Um, but beyond that, I also would like to speak to you as a minister of the gospel of Christ, as a pastor for 44 years. Under the context that Zambia has been declared a Christian nation, I would like to raise a red flag and actually uh, raise a red card against the words of my dear brother, uh, Chishimba Kambuili. In describing the meaning of the word that President Haga Inde Chilema used in the northern province, and by the way, uh, if you didn't know, if you didn't hear about this, uh, I don't encourage you to look for this video to listen to it uh, because it's it's really not something that we need to be publishing uh, uh, in our nation and encourage that kind of rhetoric and speech. But the the, uh, the essence of the question that was raised is that President Haka Inde Chilema used a word in Northern Province uh, that, was, it, that was meaning, that was saying that whenever we used to come to Kasama or Northern Province, uh, our cadres, ourselves used to be, get beaten up. But he used a Bemba word, which is a street word. Um, and then um, my brother, Chishimba uh, Kambwili decided to try to interpret what the president said and called it an insult. First of all, I would like to uh, distance ourselves from that kind of thinking. I believe that when you are dealing with languages and your mind is on the language that you want to use, we find people that always look for trivialities or an immoral approach to a certain word. I would like to propose to my brother that even if he wanted to explain what that word means, it was totally inappropriate for him to go on television and begin to explain the word that he was talking about in such graphic terms. At no time did this president, and I'm not speaking for him, uh, did he actually talk about uh, what my brother Kambuli was talking about. He knows what he should say as a president. I do not think one would go out there and start to insult a people. The meaning that Mr. Kambuli gave to that word is not the meaning of that word, at least not in Chinsali Kuchinga, where the Bemba comes from. I think that probably he has another interpretation of it. Um, any word, whether it's in English or it's in Bemba or any other language for that matter, can mean several things. I can give many words here today, but it depends on the attitude of those that are listening and what they want to get out of there. I think that my brother Kambwili should have concentrated on challenging President Hichilema to prove that when they went to Northern Province, they were actually being beaten. That was the message that was being uh, pushed out there. And we would like to appeal to the church that when we start to hear politicians become so uh, base in the manner in which we speak, we should not laugh right along the population. We should not make it like a social media joke that listen to how well he insults and how graphic he was in polluting the atmosphere of Zambia, especially the minds of our young people. 
There is a decorum and a requirement from those of us that seek the highest office in the land. A certain level of decorum and words we can use and words we cannot use. The problem we have in Zambia, I think that we need to challenge ourselves as to whether we have agreed to be a Christian nation or not a Christian nation. And it appears to some of us that sometimes the more rogue, the more insulting, the more uncouth a politician becomes, the more popular he gets, even amongst Christians. And I think we need to ask ourselves, what do we want for our country? Why do we lie to ourselves and call ourselves a Christian nation when our behavior and conduct only applauds those that abuse the minds and the atmosphere of our nation and the minds of our young people? There are certain things I cannot say as a leader because every word I use forms an opinion in the minds of the younger generation. We are opinion uh, creators. And when we speak, the language you use as leaders, our young people are going to follow suit and use those language and that type of language. And I think let's put a, a standard here that there are certain things we can say and we cannot say. So we raise a red flag and a red card against uh, my brother Chishimba uh, Kambwili in a Christian nation and in a place where you desire to be president of the Republic of Zambia. Time has come for the Zambian people and also the young people to demand, place a demand that we want a certain quality of speech, soundness of a fear of God and a desire to do what is right in order for our country to remain on these ambiguous of faith. But the way we are going, and I challenge the church, the body of Christ, let us not applaud vulgarity. Let us not, the media, let us not clap for those that use words that demolish every effort that men and women of old have tried to make in making Zambia a proud Christian nation. So today, we would like to make this very clear. Our brother, Mr. Chimba Kambwili, went off course. The statement he made was uncalled for, it was uncouth, it was wrong, inappropriate in a Christian country. And it's just that I can't repeat those words, but the words that you use, my brother, that's not the meaning of that word. Uh, yes, it talks about being violent against somebody else, but it doesn't talk about those so sexual implications that you raised uh, before our own children. We therefore ask the Zambian people, what type of leadership do you want in a Christian nation? How much do you like lies as Zambians? Do you, how much do we prefer lies to truth? How much do we prefer morality against immorality? How much do we prefer vulgar language against seasoned language? You can't clap for what is wrong, vote for what is wrong, and expect that you are going to reap what is right and reap a generation of responsible young men who are going to guide our nation in the manner that a Christian nation should be guided. So today, I decided to come here and raise a red flag against my own brother. And he's not the only one. Today, it has become fashionable. The more vulgar you are, the more popular you become. The more you lie, the more popular you become in the political process. I call on the believers. I call on all Zambians to rise up whenever our values are challenged and, 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 and messed with to demand that our leaders line up with the morality that we wish to espouse for a Christian nation. That's all that I wanted to say. My brother Chima Kambuil, if you want to be president of this country, tame your tongue. You may think it, but don't say it, because this is a Christian nation, and we are bound by certain values and decorum, and that's required of all of us that wish to become leaders in this country. I thank you, and may God bless our great republic.